Hey, this is Anthony from MakeWeirdMusic.com, and this is the second episode of a series called Failure to Fracture, in which I highlight the many things that have enabled years and years of failing to play the song Fracture by King Crimson. This episode is going to be about uh, round picks and triangular or sharp picks. Um, so right after this intro, I will uh, play through some of the Moto Perpetuo in Fracture using both a round pick and a sharp pick and I'll alternate the clips between those two performances. And then I'll talk about why I don't think the round pick is the right tool for the job. <laughs> Playing Fracture with a round guitar pick is like slicing a ripe tomato with a butter knife. Fracture is a very delicate piece of music and it can fall apart pretty easily if you're not using the right tool for the job. In my experience, I've found that the round picks um, don't allow for the clarity, precision, and speed that is required to play Fracture at tempo. So let's start first with note clarity. Round picks um, have a more mellow sound than a sharp pick, and even when played in a very specific way, you don't get the kind of clarity or attack that you get from a sharp pick. So let's play some open strings with um, the two picks. I'll start with a round and then go to a sharp and back to a round and back to a sharp. <laughs> So hopefully you can hear there's a pretty big difference between the note clarity of a round pick and a sharp pick from that short demo. Now that's in a very isolated experiment. We didn't skip strings or anything and uh, every note in Fracture is, every consecutive note is on a different string. So with the constant string skipping or cross picking as uh, Robert Fripp calls it, um, with the round pick it's inevitable that you're going to angle the pick at some points because you're going so fast and you're skipping so many strings I personally find it physiologically impossible to keep the pick a round pick flat and parallel to the string as I'm picking and skipping strings at that tempo so I'm going to inevitably introduce some pick angling into the playing now with a round pick this introduces quite a bit of pick noise on the string. I'll demonstrate with a round pick first and then I'll demonstrate with the sharp pick. So there's still some pick noise even with the sharp pick. But with 
with the round pick, there's much less clarity in attack. There's much more clarity in attack with the sharp pick. So when you're skipping strings, particularly in the section that I call death picking, <laughs> which is, um, I'll play it next, it's, it's very difficult to remain clear and precise with the round pick because really you have to be even more precise than you would with a sharp pick because you have to maintain this parallel angle of the pick to the string uh, at a very fast pace while constantly skipping strings. So the death picking section goes like this. Sounds pretty different. So even though there is pick noise across the strings, the attack offered by the sharp pick makes a significant difference in the clarity of what you're playing. Uh, furthermore, as far as I think about it, with the round pick and the constant string skipping, um, I feel like the round pick ends up gliding across the string, kind of like this. Whereas with the sharp pick, even at an angle, a pretty severe angle, which is unrealistic for while I'm playing, but still, at that same angle, I still get a lot of clarity of the note. So I get clarity which minimizes some of the, or at least masks some of the pick noise and is a little for, more forgiving for the listener. As far as I'm concerned when I'm playing, I feel like I'm connecting with the notes um, despite the pick noise, despite the angle, I at least hear the notes more clearly and I feel the pick connecting with the string. Whereas with the round pick, I feel like it's glossing over the string. It's not actually striking through the string. Um, so I need to be very precise with a round pick as opposed to being um, somewhat precise in order to play it, but uh, it's a little bit more forgiving. So I feel like I have a little more control and I'm more connected with the music and it's less of a distraction for me when I'm trying to play the song uh, and the pick is at a slight angle. So about 10 years ago, I wrote on a blog post uh, that I recommended the Dunlop Tortex round pick. And it was for a variety of reasons, but I thought the material was making a significant difference in my ability to play and hold on to the pick. When in reality, years later, only recently, did I realize with this, um, with the sharp pick, I saw that the pick would be spinning in my hand. Uh, it would go from like playing into the string to pointing toward the neck. And I found that this was because as I played at an angle, I would do an upstroke and it would pull the pick away from my palm and it would point the pick toward the neck. And had I not used a triangular pick at the time, or even the sharp pick, I probably wouldn't have noticed it as much because it's hard to really keep track of the round pick, um, especially if the grip is kind of covering most of the pick, it's hard to even identify what's going on down there. So with the sharp pick, it actually gave me a better visual as to what was going on while I was playing. So anyway, um, for me, I was recommending the Dunlop Tortex round pick uh, back in 2006, I think, and Robert Fripp got wind of this and wrote directly in his diary a response to me saying he recommends the handmade triangular guitar craft pick, and if he didn't have access to it, he would use the Dunlop Tortex Sharp uh, pick and call, consider life to be cruel, hard, and unfair. Now, most of us don't have access to the Guitar Craft Triangular Pick, 
So what are we to do? Well, I have amassed a collection of sharp and triangular picks, and I will uh, now walk through each of them and talk about what I like and dislike. Okay, so a while back I started prowling the internet for, uh, or scra scouring the internet for triangular or sharp picks, and I found a variety of them. Uh, first, I thought it'd be cool to show the actual guitar craft picks because I don't know where else you can get information on them. But um, this is the Delrin Guitar Craft Triangular Pick. I love this pick. This is my favorite pick, um, probably ever. <laughs> it's got a great texture, especially when they're brand new. They have a very fine grit to them. Uh, they feel like the Tortex picks, but they're a little, um, little rougher. And they're very durable. And uh, you can see where, how I hold the pick. A lot of the pick meat is sticking out. And uh, I prefer to have the longer pick. And they teach you to hold the pick like this in the guitar circle. Um, now, I'm not exemplary or anything, but it's something like this. So anyway, um, I love these guitar picks. They're wonderful. They uh, also come in an Indian rubber and they're much shinier. You can see the reflectivity in the light and hopefully you can see that there are little texture bumps glued to the middle. Those do wear out over time and I do have two of these that have cracked and I've super glued them back together but this one is broken. Um, so this is a brand new unplayed one and this is a broken very played one and you can see that texture is gone but it still remains pretty shiny and very durable otherwise there's a site that sells these V picks this is a transparent pick so it's hard to show but it is exactly the same size as the oh, it's a little bit larger but nearly the same size as the guitar craft pick, but these are so sharp, I mean, you could probably cut yourself on the corners. They are machined and much thicker than the guitar craft pick. Um, and like I said, very sharp corners. And uh, if you use uh, coated strings like I do, this thing just shreds the coating right off. So I don't use this pick. Um, it's interesting to play with, but uh, this is the thinner version, the light version of the Shredder pick, and it's still far thicker than, uh, it's got to be 1.2, 1.3 millimeters at least. It's very thick. Um, speaking of thick, I have two Dunlop Jazz 3 picks. This one is a very thick one, as thick as this uh, Shredder pick. Uh, it's too thick to play and too short for my tastes in playing Fracture. I like this uh, this pick I got from Alan Marcus while he was on tour with Cannibal Corpse and it's a great pick but uh, for Fracture it's for my taste not long enough. I like the tone, it's got that sharp pick tone, it's great. Very nice pick for a lot of other styles I think. Um, I also like this Diodario teardrop shaped pick. Good length, it's a little rounder on the edge but it, it feels good and I feel like it's light weight and uh, not very wide shape give me a sense of speed that um, I don't get with any of these other picks. These D'Andrea picks from Amazon um, I actually cut them down to triangles to match the size of the guitar craft picks don't use these, don't buy these uh, D'Andrea yellow ones. They all are bent. They came bent straight out of the package. I don't know if you can see that, but um, none of them are straight. Even setting a book on one of these picks doesn't straighten it out. Even cutting it smaller down to the guitar craft size, um, while it looks nice, it looks like the edges are all nice and everything, it's still bent and you can feel that when you're playing. Um, so it doesn't lend itself to good flat picking this pick, this Clayton pick, is just a waste of time. <laughs> I 
I knew it was taking a chance when I bought it, but I hate this pick, so I do not recommend that one. This Iben as Steve Vai pick you can buy on Amazon. Um, it has a nice texture on it. It's long, uh, longer than a standard pick. This is another Steve Vai pick from the G3 tour a long time ago. Um, it's longer than a standard pick, but it's still not very sharp. It, I like the tone better than a standard round pick, but um, there are sharper picks that are more clear and precise. This uh, pick comes from Mad Hatter Guitar Products. My friend Ed Heisler um, had these branded for him. They're nice and sharp. They're like the Dunlop uh, Jazz 3, but bigger. Pretty much the same shape, but probably two millimeters longer. This is a good, good guitar pick um, for me to play Fracture. This Dunlop Altex Sharp, I hate this pick. I don't know if it's because of the thickness, because of the shape of it. It's kind of bulge, and it's got a bulge in the middle, and the edges are tapered. It's not that sharp. I, I don't like it. You might. This pick a friend got for me from Etsy, and it's really comfortable. It's got this indentation for the index finger. You can probably see that. Um... It's got good length, but it's super thick and made of wood. Um, so I play it with the bass, but um, I don't know who makes these, but it's just another sharp pick that I got. Um, oh, and here's the other D'Andrea pick that I cut down. You see, I just cut through the Andrea word and got it to be the size of the Guitar Craft pick. I, I like this a lot. It's a decent solution for people who don't have access to the guitar craft picks. And I met someone in the New York guitar circle who actually does that very thing. She buys the larger, cheaper triangular picks in a large pack and then cuts them down to size. Now these are the Dunlop Tortex Sharp picks that Robert Fripp recommended. Um, well, second only to the guitar craft triangular pick. This is the purple thicker one. I also cut these notches into it um, to give it a little additional grip, which does help, but the pick is, for my taste, just a little too thick, uh, and there's a lot of effort to... It, it feels like it slows me down, Where, uh, which leads or leaves this yellow Dunlop Tortex Sharp pick last and is my favorite non-guitar craft pick. It's a bit longer than the Guitar Craft Triangular pick. Millimeter and a half, maybe two millimeters, something like that. I love this pick. It's wonderful. Feels great, good texture, lightweight, very sharp, pointy, not so sharp that you feel like you're gonna cut yourself, like the Shredder pick, which will shred your fingers if you <laughs> rub it on the corners, but um, it's even sharper than the Guitar Craft pick. Um, I don't know if that really matters, but I just prefer it. I love this pick. Um, this is nice because you can pick it up at any side and you get a triangular pick or a, a sharp pick. This one you have to pick it up and there's only one way to hold it. So, um, advantage to the Guitar Craft pick. It's a fantastic pick, very well made great texture, but if you don't have access to it, Robert's recommendation, as far as my research goes, you can't find a better sharp pick uh, to play Fracture with. So I hope that's a good rundown of some sharp and triangular picks and gives you a sense of some decent alternatives. Uh, if you have any other recommendations, leave a comment and uh, feel free to send me an email at anthony at makeweirdmusic.com if you want to geek out over sharp and triangular picks. Thanks a lot for your time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks.